Hello everyone, welcome to the Kemet Masai Academy. Today we're going to share with you a story of one of my students, Drayshon Napier. He is 11 years old and he just received his results, the City and Hills Mathematics Stage 2, 3850 paper. He got a distinction. Now this is a paper that is normally done by 10th graders by students going into vocational studies and Drayshon actually when he did the exam he was 10 years old as far as we know he is the youngest to have received a distinction in the city and Gales math stage two so we are going to share his story with you we're going to be speaking with Drayshon himself the man of the moment and we're going to be speaking with his mom Roshana read also his uncle Omar Windham so you're going to want to stay tuned to the end to hear the experience as well as recommendations and tips you know for those who want their child or if you are a child watching if you want to achieve what Dre Sean has achieved keep listening to find out what you need to do all right so today is March 14 2021 and stay tuned for all of that information now remember before we go any further if you have not yet subscribed to the Kemet Masai Academy now would be an excellent time for you to do so also click like and share this video with as many persons as you can remember we need to stay motivated and we need to motivate others Click like, click share. We also want to reach out to our supporters on Patreon, those who, who have contributed to the school, keep doing so. And for those who would want to support us, the link is below, our Patreon link is below. So just check that out and become a supporter of the Kemet Masai Academy. I want to show you as proof. So here, this is Dre Sean's certificate showing his distinction right so he's very proud and we are very proud of him so let's get into it and find out from the man himself what this was all about so Drayshon I know because I'm I'm his teacher right so I know that he readily accepted the challenge when I put forward to him that I wanted him to go for the, the city and guilds. He is in grade six and so at our institution, our grade six students, as a normal part of our curriculum, they prepare for the PEP exams as well as three CXC subjects. So that's mathematics, human and social biology, and English language. So he was well on the way in preparing for those subjects. So when I said to him, I gave him, I gave the entire class a test paper um, of the City and Gills level two, and this was the beginning of September. And so I had not even taught some of the topics. And Drayshon, at the time, he got 78%, and I, I was impressed. And so I expressed to his mom, let's, let's try and with it. So I know that he readily embraced it. So Dre Sean, I want you to tell us how did you prepare for the City and Girls Maths exam? When I was preparing for the City and Girls exam, from Monday, from Monday to Friday, I do online class from 7.30 in the morning to 3 o'clock. And I do, I come to face to face class from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the night, and that's Monday to Thursday. And on Friday, I'd also still do the online class in the morning, 7.30 to 3, and go class 3.30 and finish at 6. And on Saturdays, I'd come class in the morning at 8 o'clock and finish at 3 o'clock. Okay. Well, I know for some that would sound like a very grueling, um, very tedious task. Did you find it that way? Were you were you worn out by it, or was it something that you know you just you you, you fell into it? Yes, I fell into it. 
All right, so our students at the Kemet Masai Academy, they are very used to this kind of routine, right? So you see Dresha, he just it's just something that he took on, right? And we were actually, in our preparation, he was working with the, the stage two as well as the stage three papers, and he was getting 90s and 100s. So I'm almost positive that if we had signed him up, for the stage three, he would have gotten that distinction. Um, Dreshawn, when we went on the day of the exam, when he was sitting the exam, mom was there, I was there, uncle was there. And because of the preparation that we had, I could tell his mom, you know, 45 minutes, this is a two hour exam, and I could tell her 45 minutes into the exam, I knew he was finished because in our preparation, he would normally do two papers within the, the two hours and, and usually have 30 minutes to spare, right? And he actually went to sleep in the exam. When he came out, he told us, he after 45 minutes he was done, he checked over, he went to sleep. All right, so Dresha, normally in class, I know that you love to help your classmates. He actually calls himself the helpinator. <laughs> it's, it's a term he has for himself, the helpinator. So tell us, um, why is it that you feel it is important for you to help your classmates? So when I help them, I feel like I'm helping them to understand it more. Instead of them not doing anything, I'd show them how to do it step by step so that they could understand it themselves. Right, which is very important, right? We have to help each other. And I know that um, for some of the older students whom I... I teach like from other schools, those who normally are doing the, the CSEC in grade, in grade 11, grade 10, they look up to Dreshawn and other students his age, right, because of their mastery of it. So it's something that I find very positive to see this young man going around. So he, when he's finished with his task, he goes around and he helps others. Dreshawn, what is your favorite Tell me your three favorite math topics. My three favorite math topics are graph, algebra, and matrices. And what, what would you say is your most challenging math topic? Trigonometry. Okay. Now, as I said, today is March 14, and for those who, well, the entire planet has been, been experiencing to some extent a lockdown for some persons, total lockdown, some um, semi lockdown. Here in Jamaica, we have been on different stages of lockdown since March 13 last year. So it's actually an entire year that schools have been closed. Uh, so for our school, we have been online for, for the most part and so Dreshawn it has been an entire year since you were coming to normal school face to face how has the lockdown affected you you think how did it affect your preparation for the exam how do you feel in general about the lockdown well I think that the lockdown has made school life harder because I'd have to do online class and the apps that I would use, there would be technical difficulties, more distractions around the house and mm -hmm. it would be harder than regular face-to-face -face where you would just do the work without distractions normally. Okay. And for those of you who might be saying, well, this is a, you know, this is a gifted child, this is an ex exceptional case. I would like you to understand this is a totally normal child. He has, he does everything a normal child does. He loves his games, he loves video games. And um, you know, we have to be stern just like any, any parent or teacher has to be stern. We have to keep guiding him. Um, Dreshan, how did you manage to balance studying with you know, we know you love your games, so how is it, did you find it that you had to choose, or how is it that you, you found a balance 
to still achieve the distinction, you know, and, and, and maintain your childhood, especially given the, the crisis that we're in. So the six days that I do class, I would do school straight. When my school is finished, I don't usually play anything. I'd either be doing homework or eat or go and bathe. Mm -hmm. So on the weekends now, when I'm free, on like for example a Sunday, I would play my video games along with sometimes studying, doing online things and studying like six and past days. Okay, very good. So guys, it's a normal child. If you are a normal child, if you have normal children, they can achieve what Dreshan has achieved. It just takes commitment to the process, it takes balance, and it takes, you say, the teacher, the parent, and the child. When, when all persons are on board and the support system is strong, magic can happen, right? All right, so Dreshan, I'm going to go on now and speak to your mom. All right, so Roshana, welcome. Yeah. You are no stranger to us, right? So Dreshan has been with me since he was knee high to a grasshopper, right? So Roshana is no stranger to us. We are introducing her to you guys now. So Roshana, how did you find the school? Well, um, I found this school. What year would that be? Dreshan was about, initially, I think Dreshan was about three when I first was, when I was first introduced, somewhat. I think I was watching the CM at Sunrise program mm -hmm. and uh, you were on it with your son, Kuti, at the time, who achieved six CXC subjects while he was in grade six homeschooled right. here. Mm -hmm. So that's when I first knew about the school and I was adamant that I must locate the school. When I heard it was in Portmore, I was like, okay, so we need to find it. Mm -hmm. So I remember it really took me over a year. I was actually trying to find the school with another friend of mine. I just managed to find it first and I did introduce it to her as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I found um, Kemet Messiah, could have been a year after because Dresha was enro um, enrolled in a regular basic school mm -hmm. in Portmore at the time. When I reached out to Miss Kamar, it was during the summer, summer holiday. Mm -hmm. So um, she agreed to take Dreshawn. I think Dreshawn stayed for about three weeks, if not much. It wasn't more than three weeks. And he came here and he did the summer program. When the summer program ended, um, at that point I was like, how do I send back this child to a basic school? Mm -hmm. He was way advanced. He's not doing a one plus one or a two plus two. He was doing graphs, like plotting graphs mm -hmm. and all of that. So of course I pleaded and I begged Miss Kamata to accept Dreshana. Of course, you know, she said she normally accepts them at age five. He wasn't five as yet. But I think something spoke to her somewhere down there and I'm not sure what it was. And she decided that she would have taken him for so, September. So like when she's talking about Miss Kamal, this is Miss Kamal. Miss Kamal. <laughs> because right? so, you're, you're, you're talking as if it's somebody. Oh, third person. So this is Miss Kamal right here. <laughs> right. So I asked her if she was able to take Dreshan, even though he hasn't gotten to the age of acceptance, which is five, and she agreed. So, um, you know, by that time, being the mother that I have, am, normally where books are concerned, I try to buy those in advance. So of course I bought all the books for his previous um, basic school. So when I went back to that school, I had to donate them because they wouldn't give me a refund for the uniforms, anything. So you say, you know what, I'm not turning back. I'm on a mission, so I'm going to go ahead and I donated all of those stuff to the school. And I pressed on. So Dreshan started here that September. He would have been five in November. So he was like three months away from his fifth birthday. So that's basically how I, how I knew about the school and how we started. Okay. Um, when I told you that Dreshawn, that I wanted him to do the City and Girls Mathematics, how did you receive that information? Um, well, when you called me, I think you sent me a message. I think it was a text message that you said, you know, you gave the class a City and Hills paper and Dreshan without even being taught all of the topics. Right. You, he achieved a 78%. So you think 
we should go with it. Mm -hmm. And I can tell anybody, you know, I always refer to Miss Kamal. Like, I remember watching an interview with Usain Bolt, how he speaks about his coach. And for Usain, it was always whatever the coach says, that's what I'm going with. And that's like me with Miss Kamal. So, if Miss Kamal said we're going to do it, all hands down, I'm ready. If she's going to pull back, she said Russian, I don't think, then that is it. So, I, when I was told, when you told me that you would want Drayshawn to sit, the city and girls right away, I know once you, I'm, I'm sure that you saw him ready, mm -hmm. or you were ready to get him prepared for that, mm -hmm. for that exam, and as such, I was fully ready mm -hmm. to support in whatever way I could. Okay, I'm sure that pers there are persons... You know, maybe relatives, persons in your community, once they know about, you know, the fact that you are put in their opinion, pushing this child, you know, maybe they think you're pushing too much. How did you deal with that kind of response? The naysayers, you know, those who have the negative comments, discouragement. How did you deal with that? Well, you know, I think by now I'm used to it. Rachel mm -hmm. being here from four plus, right. and I think I had that dealing with from that very same time. I remember the first year that I got a book list. I think I called you mm -hmm. after I. So when I went to the bookshop, um, the, the the teacher was like, "How oh, old is your son? Is so he's five? So she's like, "But this can't be his book list." I said, mm -hmm. "This is his, his book list," <laughs> and she's like, "You know, why would you?" You know, and she went on and on, and I'm saying, well, listen, if you want good, as Jamaican say, you know, it's a run. So, this is the book list, and, and at one time, it's almost like she refused right. to even go through, and I'm saying, this is my, my five-year-old, because I think it had the age on the paper, so she was kind of amazed as to say, five-year-old right. with right. these kind of books. You know, so I've been dealing with that from over a time, so... Right. Um, really and truly, I have a lot of that. In, at my workplace, you hear people say, Roshana, don't you think that's too much? Why are you pushing him so much and all of that? But, I mean, I have proven, I have proven that it's not a push. You just have to be dedicated. And uh, on the same mission, as Miss Kamal said earlier, it's a three-way relationship. It's not just the teacher. It's the teacher, the child, and the parents, and the supporting. And I must say, Dre Sean is from a strong support system. Mm -hmm. We have a very strong support system. I couldn't do it by myself. Right. My brother is like, in all my interviews, I'll say that. If I am, st my work can be very demanding. So most of the time, I am dependent on my brother to take him to and from school and stuff. So his support system, mother, mother father, you know, grand, up to grandmother, we have a very strong support system. And I think that plays a key part in him achieving this right. distinction. How would you advise parents who, you know, maybe they see great potential in their child? Or even, as I said, it's just a regular child, but they want to push that child. What advice would, would you give to parents like that? Well, I must say, if you see, and I always tell people, even my co-workers, I tell them, if you see the potential in the child, don't stop. Just keep, it's hard, it's hard, because sometimes as a parent, when they say, you say, boy, you know, it's too, it's a, it's a lot on the child. That, that happens to me a lot. You know, to say it's a lot for them to bear, and you, you have to take away the game from them and the natural life, but don't stop. It is possible, Drayshan is not the first child to do it. We have roots from the school right. who have done it mm. on three or four occasions actually. Mm. So it's no gift. It don't have to be a, you know, no abnormal child. It's just a normal child as we say. So I would encourage parents not to give up. Once they see the potential, even if you don't see it, still push your child because it's doable. Right. It's doable. And for those who can, because you see, our students routinely in grade six, as I said, they do three C six subjects, and so we have to start preparing them from we get them from grade one, mm -hmm. and even those who they're coming in grade three, grade four, grade five, we still try to prepare them for that. For 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 those who can't physically be here with us, this is the whole point of this channel. This is the reason why I spent all this time creating these videos, so you have the opportunity to benefit from the teachers. So for, for Dreshawn, for example, he was on this the channel 
you know, when he wasn't physically with me or in the, in the, on, on the online class, he was checking out the videos on the channel as part of his preparation. If you can't be here physically with us, go on the channel. You know, we have many playlists. We have a grade 4 playlist, grade 5 playlist, grade 6, all the way up to grade 11 for now. Right? If it's algebra you want, you go to the algebra playlist. If it's graph you want, you go to the graph playlist. In addition to that, we have motivational videos because we understand that it's not just the academics. To get a child to achieve these things that we're asking of them, they have to be motivated beyond the norm. And so we have 69 motivational videos that you and your child can access just watch them and be inspired, be motivated. As part of our curriculum, we also do Black Achievers. So our students study those men, women, and children like themselves who have achieved greatness. And all of this comes together. You know, right? So when we're asking them to do this, they know that it's something that's achievable. All right, so mommy, thanks for talking with me. I'm going to ask you now, to allow uncle to come and speak and we're going to you know find out his role all right so we're welcoming omar windham the uncle of dreshawn napier we're continuing our talk and i personally have witnessed you know omar bringing dreshawn to school whether it's weekday weekend whether whether the class was in the morning the afternoon the night Sometimes he would not only drop him here, he would wait for him, always encouraging him, being that stern but loving force, you know, a very strong male role model in his life. So, Omar, how did you feel about Dreshawn's success? This champion here, um, about his success, it, it, it. It didn't really come as a surprise, mm -hmm. based on his performance throughout the years, starting at the school, right? So, um, I was excited like any other parent, for sure, you know, mm -hmm. but at the same time, as I said, I wasn't surprised at all, because I know he will do it, he can do it, and um, in future to come, he will do it even better. Right, because you know he is preparing for, for the CSC, right, right, three, three, three C-6 right. coming up. Yeah, right. right, so our school... Uh, traditionally we attract lots of boys right. for what reason I don't know but I think you know the boys they, they find us out they seek us out and we definitely encourage them you know in the society in the wider society we don't see boys doing very well yeah, academically yeah. and we don't see lots of strong male role models yeah, right. Especially, we know the girls need the, the strong male um, role models, but the boys especially. And you know, Dreshan, I would really like you to take the time and just tell Uncle how you feel about his the fact that he has been supporting you, and just tell him thanks. Do it for me and for yourself because I want to hear you say it. Well, I'd like to say thank you to my uncle because he carried me to school from either in the morning, in the evening, or at night. He sometimes waits until the class is finished, brings me home, and he does that every day, like it's natural. Right. And... Uh, Just say thank you. And I want to say... And yes, I because love you too, Jerry. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because, you know, you know, we don't often say thank you to the persons who support us and we have to teach our children that as you climb the ladder, as you go through life, don't just take it for granted that yes, yeah, my parent, yes, my, my uncle, yes, my whatever. Um, yeah, they're supposed they to do that. Right. Even if they're supposed to do it, they don't have to do it. And, and many of them don't do it. So we have to take the time out to see. Thank you when we have that support that system. Far away, yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So, Amar, when you yeah. found out that, when you know, you know, Dreshan was enrolled at a school, five years old, roughly. Yeah. And when you found out how demanding our school was, how much we pushed our students, how did you feel about that? 
excited because it, it for me it was something different. I mean, I can recall me talking about his his bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just just um, a young age. He's carrying a big heavy bag to school. school. The bag we might carry here, yeah, magic. Right. You know what I mean? And the the the, the advance in at his age, the way you teach, mm -hmm. I mean, that was just something for me. And I, I can remember even critics, people criticize and say, you know, you know, such a young child doing such advanced mm -hmm. um, um, work. work. Um, it, 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 it's just, uh, it was just something, something new for me as a more explorer. And I think, you know, with, 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 it, it's, it depends on how we train our brain because mm -hmm. we tend to, to just lap back in the old basic stuff. Mm -hmm. So this was something new and this is something where, yeah, I was definitely on board at the time. When, right. when, you know. And you remain so, on board, so mommy is on board, right, uncle right. on board, stepdad on board, daddy yeah. on board, grandma, everybody. everybody, everybody. On board. And let me tell you guys, when, when we have everybody doing their role, playing their role, as I said, that's when the, the fireworks happen. And what one thing I want to point out as well, um, for the parents out there, you know, for, for well, we see it as a challenge, but it's something that it's supposed to be norm. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this case where it's a lot of books and the books, you know, do these books, they might do it in a grade level, they might do it in a grade five. We have we passed um, his stage. I mean, don't don't hold back yourself. Don't tell, tell it, don't tell a child I don't believe that they can do it. They can. Mm -hmm. So just expose them to it. Right. Regardless of how young they is, they, they might they might think they're not um, gaining anything from it, but mm -hmm. just expose them ears to it. Just right. surround them with that. Because we're not we're not asking them to do anything that is not possible. Which is right. Right. Others have done it. Marcus Garvey said, "What man has done, man can do." Right. So we expose our students to others like them, children like them, who have achieved excellence. And so they see that what I am asking them to do, they can do it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so finally, Omar, I'd like to ask you, what would you say to the dads, the stepdads, the uncles, the male figures in the lives of our children? What tips would you give them or what advice or encouragement? Would you give to them? My thing, my thing is, is to just um, it's 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 all boil down for me to sacrifice. We we'll have we we'll have to um make the necessary sacrifice. We have something called um tough love. We we'll have to show that. Um, child, children of the world, they have a tendency when they talk to them or you, you don't allow them to do certain stuff. They tend to just go down and share that little. You know, like a face to face sorry for them and for them have for them have them way. But at the end of the day, like like even Drayshawn, what he has achieved, this this big task that he has achieved and achieved in such a smooth, smooth way. Mm -hmm. That that process takes sacrifice as we say. So them, they, the child, the children, them themselves need that. They need to feel like a champion, they need to be like a champion, mm -hmm. right? So, as we say, we have to just make the sacrifice, um, cut off the game, some of the playing and all of that, and just penetrate on um, their book, their study. Right. And don't just leave it up to mom, right? No, or grandma. We, we, we all have to party. Dads have to, to pitch in, the uncles have to pitch in, stepdad step up to the role if dad not playing the role, right? Yeah, the, the children need positive role models. Leave parents. some of leave some of the domino game man, and the Nintendo and, right. and all them and out some of the girls. Like Find that. out if the homework yeah. is being done. Find out if the projects are being done. Read to your children, Daddy. Read, yes, that is very effective. Very dads very effective. and stepdads and uncles, put them in your laps. Read to them. This is very important. And one of the things we don't show much. Um, Period. Well, dads mm -hmm. don't show that love, that, that, right. that the hug, affection, yeah, right. that kiss. Yeah. Hug them, it, it talk to lot, them, right. play with them, and, and watch and some videos from the Kemet Masai no, definitely, family with definitely, them. Definitely. <laughs> and what are the things that people hearing out there? Please stop telling your kids that um, them worthless and them just let them fall. Right. And all right. those negativity, just dash them away. Tell them, say, they're going to become a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer. You know what I mean? Just right. positivity. 
All right, so very powerful words. I, I told you you would, you would enjoy um, listening to this interview. I told you you would not regret staying. So you, we spoke with Dreshawn. And you know, he is a champion here. We have many he's champions. Champion, champion. Yes. Oh, look at the and background, please. I'm sorry, teach. I'm sorry. Look at the background. <laughs> the world of champion, and we have more there. Right. So you see, this so is just a little part of just, our just curriculum. Just a little snap. There are more there. Right. right. Because our students, whether it's my biological children, which is where this all started, you know, this is how um, folks got involved in the school. They, yes. they found out about the achievements of myself and my children and so I'm extending that to children who can come to the school physically and the channel is for you guys who some of you can't come here physically but you can camp out as I love to say put up your tent and camp out and watch those videos that, that one is a shot. yes <laughs> watch those videos All right so thank you for staying with us and you know sharing the story Dreshawn's story and there will be many more stories. We're also going to do a follow-up, you know, when he gets his CSEC results. We're going to be back to Three share. Pending, pending, yes, pending. we're going to be back to share that story. So stay tuned, watch this space, look out for those those videos, and those remember, stories. And remember again, it, 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 it was done in 45 minutes at two of course. So right. Just so at 10 know. years old. And at 10 years to old. To our knowledge, right, this is the youngest um that, that a child has achieved that distinction in the City and Gills stage to mathematics, to our knowledge, and we're very proud of that. Right? Um, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. You had something else to say? Yes, man, and people, you know, tell you like a secret. This is when you come out of your classroom, Jesus, and peace. <laughs> Him have water, mouth, and everything. <laughs> he oh, was sleeping. Knock out people, <laughs> knock out. And I think he, out. he was Total helping. Out. Helping no, some other yeah, students. No, he wasn't helping. Um, actually, he wanted, he right? He, he said, wanted yeah. to. He when he come out, to. I was telling him, uh, but asked him what was the experience and all and all and all. And he, and he was talking about a particular young lady that was sitting beside him. Mm -hmm. Much, much older than because, of course, he's the youngest. And I said, boy, hey, uncle. And then I talked to the older, I said, boy, you know, somebody who I help her, but I see she has so glad to see her. I'm going to just to see Because, like I said, he so called simple. himself the helping eater, right? Right, it was but just so simple. In the exam setting, of course, you know, you can't go, go there and right. help the way right. you normally help in the classroom. So he was just there looking on and saying, this this adult, you know, she's struggling with that. And yeah, he had he finished had the paper and, and gone to sleep, right, guys? Yeah. So this is achievable for all of you. For everybody, everybody, please. everybody. Right? everybody. Just everybody. if you yeah. are, if you're watching the video and you're not getting something, drop a comment and I will certainly respond. I want you to master all of these topics. It doesn't matter how young you are or how old you are, whether you're 99 or you're nine. This channel is here to help you. If you want to support our school, check the link for Patreon below and you know you can go there and give us your support if you have not subscribed please do so share the video so others can benefit remember the more you share it the more persons can benefit so look out for our other videos bye for now bye, bye, -bye. you all can achieve <laughs> all right, just guys. log on to the link man yes okay that was it yeah yeah thanks again